We're back with some solo games. What's going on, guys? Playing on the wasteland. See how this goes. Oh, what a save! Holy oh. Was a good save, but oh, we're playing Dadu and Miki Geshi again. We played them last episode. Great save by Dadu. Just oh, yeah. A little rough afterwards. He makes the save, then puts it in himself. All right, so we got a new teammate against them. See how it goes, and we're playing Wasteland. This might make it a little bit more even. Mikigashi with the tap. I don't just don't want him passing this. Wanted that a little bit higher, so he didn't have a free shot. Damn. So I actually wanted to hit this curve a little bit better, so it pops in the air and it saves more time for my teammate to come back. But I was like an inch off. It was an inch too high, and that's free goal. That's basically how that works. But there, I was basically forced to fly because I had to worry about the pass from Dadu back to Mika. So, it was a good play by Mika to throw it towards Dadu to force me into that type of play. Uh, just barely couldn't get around that. Just going to keep the pressure here. Keep dunking on him. Uh, he got the boost. Okay. I'll, I'll let my guy throw it around the corner. All right, so they both went up here. Uh, I should not have gone. That was silly. Will he land in time? No, can't crush him yet. I shouldn't have flown to that. That was way too far back. My bad. It uh, looked like Dadu was a little bit off, so I thought maybe I could beat him, but I, like, I should know better. Like These guys are solid players, so they can easily make those plays. All right, no boost for me because my buddy took it, so just going to wait this out. Nice play. Just being patient there. Like, Yeah, sure, Like Mika might try for like an air dribble, so why not be a little patient here. Oh, almost got the dunk. Oh, he was a little too close there, though. All right. Try and throw this high. Back out. We're good. Should be clear. Nice. Well done. Well done. Mika's could have a quality shot here. Great play there to challenge him, though. Don't give him the time to take that bouncing shot that I love so much. I'm just going to grab boost. Let that do what, do what he's got to do here. Try and waste time. Wasted enough time there. And we get the ball out, and this might be a goal. If I can hit this right. There we go. We got it. So there, I was just patient. Oh, I'm in my own corner Look when they're attacking me, and you just got to waste enough time so your buddy can get back and then make a great play, which he did to lob that up off the corner towards me. So, worked out. Ooh. Only thing is, he's cheating maybe a little too hard here Um, on some of these plays. Because then we are just on the back foot, like if the ball gets like shot out somewhere. Maybe I can do better on my face as well, though. Here was actually a good play. Well, it, I'm not sure what that was, but it looked like me and Daddy were kind of being patient, waiting for the hit from Insulin. And uh, Insulin like, had to panic, basically, because he was backwards and on defense, and uh, Daddy was just patient enough to hit it. Oh, damn. He tried to back out of my way, but he just couldn't. I'm just going to leave for boost. Let them start their passing attempts here. See what insulin does or it, uh, insulin. Just wanted to pop that over Dadu. Didn't really care where it went. Like I didn't hit it great, but it didn't really matter. Here, why not go for the dunk? Since I'm heading uh, in that direction anyway, it's worth it to just like throw your car at it and then just keep going in that general direction. Ooh, Dadu just kind of gets screwed up a little bit here. Pretty uh, easy save here, and he kind of just. Just flubbed it a bit. It happens. But, be, but being backwards is a little tough to judge, though, sometimes. Sorry if you can hear my washer. I don't know if you guys can. But it's a little bit loud. Alright, no one's attacking this. I'm going to try to. There we go. We got it. So since I saw no one attacking, like, at first, I, like, I wasn't going to go. And same with Dadu. We both were like, no, we'll just get boost. But then we both saw that it was possible. So why not? Nice play by Mika here, just getting back, seeing that that dad dude screwed it up. And making the solid play. Here, they're trying to set up a pass and play. I'm trying to just cut off uh, Mika there. I was trying to get between dad dude, the ball, and Mika, just in that general area. To try and mess him up. Oof, there we go. Just got it by. Uh, this was actually a poor save by Mika. Could have been better. Uh, he's sideways, though, so it's a little bit harder. But if you turn your nose at those when you can, and try and just, like... 
just tip them with your nose to a certain direction, then you can have a better save instead of laying it up in the middle. Oh god, we both didn't go. We both backflipped. Okay, thank god. <laughs> that would have sucked. Like, I think he called I got it before, but I could have been mistaken. Oh. Here, I'm just attacking. No boost, but again, see now, like, I have momentum to, to, to circle around. And sometimes it's worth. Especially if you have a guy in defense, which we had here. Trying to pop this up towards the mid. Make him fly, at least. Again, wasn't the greatest hit, but it still put some pressure on him. Oh, just couldn't get around that. But I got the boost. Oh, and the block, actually. And the bump. We just got everything there. Tried to get this sideways, but couldn't get sideways enough. I should not have hit that. That was poor. Sorry, bud. Nice save. Nice play by Mika there, seeing that I was cheating on the right side of the net, so he shot it left. He just hit it a little too soft. Here, I want to get off the wall as soon as possible, so as soon as I land, I jump and front flip off. Like, side flips are a little bit quicker, but it still works. Eh, poor touch there. Me and Daddy at least are bumping each other. He bumped me into the boost, which is nice. Alright, pop that up. I was trying to get under it so I could deflect it towards the net, but I just barely couldn't. So that's the next best alternative. Good job by Itzelin to play it properly. Now, Daddy's trying to set up passing plays here, so I'm just trying to cut off him and Mika, basically, there. I'm going to try and pop this up. Got the pop. At this point, we're in waste time mode, if possible. Uh, Daddy screwed that up, so Itzelin has time. Probably didn't have to kill that. He probably could have followed that back towards our end. To waste even more time, but... I'm gonna go for this. Didn't think it was gonna hit the ceiling, actually. Oh, no. It doesn't really matter, though. A little bit of a poor game by then, but... We got the win. A little lucky, but we'll take it. And, uh, let's go to the next game. We'll go back to a threes. Try and do some twos and threes lately. Haven't been feeling ones recently. I just suck at ones. So, I don't really like showing them if I'm not as good at them. But, I'll try and get back into ones a little bit more. Pretty happy that we got that win, though. That's two very solid players. Like, Mikigeshi, um, if you didn't watch the last episode of Skyline from uh, the old Noble squad. And Dadu used to play for SK, so. But, got the win. We'll take it. Now they're talking in other languages. Just being rude. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Probably like, Gibbs is shit. That's what they're saying. Right there. Gibbs is shit. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and then bad match. Gibbs is shit. I can read. I can do it. Uh, let's go to goalie training. Have a little fun here. I'll work on deflections on this one, actually. If I want. That was not a deflection. That was just a save. Oh, just missed the tip. So close. It's hard because it's weird because you're coming from inside the net, which you generally don't do. So I'm not very good at doing these tips just over my head. So it's good practice for that. Something like that works. At least somewhat. Or you can try and go to the side. and Not like that, though. <laughs> then I try and do a corkscrew, and I always screw up on those, so... Just pop this to the side. So, usually when you're on defense and a ball is coming high at you like this, like, oh, this is what I'm talking Oh, wow, I jumped a little too far out there. But you always want to put it, like, gently to your corner. Kind of like how I just did that one. That was pretty gently. Not perfectly gently, but like that. That's, like, really good. Maybe a little bit lighter. So, we'll try and get it a little bit lighter here. Like that. That's, e like, uh, even better because that's going to slowly roll into the corner. Like, as long as they're not ready for it on the side. You, uh, like, in a perfect situation, like, you want it actually closer to your wall and soft. But these walls, I, I kind of have to come out for a little bit more than I want. Oh, crap. I forgot to hit RB. This is an easy one. If I actually do it. There we go. <laughs> like, those ones always seem like they're just going to roll in. And then they just don't. All right. I think it's not working again. It's so hard to tell. It gets a little buggy when you go into training. Okay. I'm back. 
Good. All right, here we go. Is it, oh, this is one I can work with. So here you want to kill, not like that. Like that is pretty good. Like it, like that was a little harder, but at least it went to the wall quicker. Like if it's not going to be like a longer wall, then you want to make it a little bit harder. There we go. That's a really good one. Nice and soft, like into the corner. Like that's not going to fall out for a decent shot anytime soon. You, you probably give your teammates like another two seconds or so to come back. See, like that would turn into a shot possibly. So you don't want to do stuff like that. But you want to just kind of tip like that. That's perfect. Like that was going to land like directly in the corner. Very, uh, very soft. So you want to do stuff like that. Usually you want to go like w with the ball's momentum because it's a little harder. Like this one's harder to put to the right corner. Um, I'll try and do it though. Like that. It, like it's just a little harder. Like uh, depending on your corner. But usually use the ball's momentum whenever you can on stuff like this. Look at that. That's perfect. Like that's going to the corner. You give your team another like two seconds. And they'll be back to help you with the next clear. Or you can just like pop it out. Not like that because it hits the ceiling. But because that turns into a shot as well. But like if you can keep this ball high. That was decent. But if you keep the ball high. Then it makes it a harder shot f for the other team. Like that goes low. And you don't want to do that. Because usually they're on the ground waiting for a like juicy rebound. And they're not like uh, in the air yet. And that's also good too. Like if you keep it high and to a side, like if you, like if you choose a side late, then you'll be good to go. Just like try and read where they're coming in, like thinking where the rebound is, and try and throw it to the opposite side if possible. I might hit the ceiling. Yep. <laughs> I was like, I might hit this. Jumped a little too soon. Okay. Just keep throwing these to the sides. Always good practice. No ball cam that time. The ball cam's weird. Like, sometimes, like, in the air, like, ball cam's not great. Or, like, you can get a little bit of a better read without ball cam. But, personally, I always use ball cam. Uh, Alright, good. I just got the reset in. Oops. Went too far that time. Trying to cut it too soon. So, really, though, on these, though, they have to go in. So, you can just, like, do that as well. Like, you don't have to fly to them. Like, if you can read it correctly, then, yeah, like, these are just, like, up like that. That's perfect, because that's right along the wall. The only thing they can do is try and get a pass back out, but you also land really, really quickly. If it's lower, like this, you just throw it right to that corner. Now you're landing, so you can wait for that pass, or if they do a sharp angle shot. But generally, that's how you want to do clears, unless you clear it out completely. But, yeah, like that. It's really, really soft, like, along your wall. Don't give him, like, any type of angle for a shot, if possible. So, like, that's a really good clear, like, nice and high, back to their end. They basically have to reset their play at that point. Their goalie might come out and fly to it, but it's tough play. So, yeah, just clear it nice and high. Try and not hit the ceiling, obviously, and you'll be fine. You'll be good to go. So, this is a good way to practice your goalie clears when the ball's in the air. All right, we finally got a threes game. No one's playing threes lately. Sad. So sad. All right. Oh, we got cross. Like, I haven't played with cross in forever. It's been a really long time. He probably was in some of my uh, earlier videos. Oh, uh, damn. Here, I'm just going for the pass, because... Like, I didn't have enough power for a decent shot, because they had a goalie, so... Then you're better off just throwing it short... And maybe they'll dive to it, and maybe they won't, you know, it, it, like, it depends. But, like, if they don't dive to it, they have to make a hard, like, pass save. And if they do dive for it, then you might get a free net. So. Sometimes it's worth it to not throw it on net, like, if their goalie's ready for it. This is actually a pretty good center for Finger. Not sure why Finger was on that wall, because we already had two people on the wall here. So generally, you have the third guy, like, in the center. Me and Cross were kind of in the same spot, but Cross was beat, so I came up. Um, a nice shot here by N1. But, yeah, Finger probably should have been middle there, but... You know, what can you do? Uh, not sure where Finger, wh why he went up the wall there. Just gotta read those a little bit clearer. And the corners, like, like, corners are tough, but, like, if it's a hard hit... Oh, another play by N1. Here we go. Um... 
like corners are tough, but usually like if the ball's not like already rolling up the wall, it's probably not gonna be. So going up the walls generally not a great idea. You're better off just waiting for that thing to land. Like especially like um, if you have time as well. So. Ah, there we go. Good clear. It's not in, but putting the pressure on the goalie. Try for a pinch pass here. Eh, it kind of worked. Threw it out to the mid. Nice by my finger there. Let's keep this ball in. And now I'm going to wait for this touch. First touch, and then, ooh. Generally, like, I would attack that, but it was a very good hop off the corner. Here, I just want to try and get it high and far, because, like, I knew they were attacking, probably. So, it's like, like, if you throw it high and hard, then it's harder for them to take the shot. It's a little risky, but it works. Cross should win that. Nice shot. Nice save. I'm going to uh, reset. Get some boost. I'll flip back towards the mid. Just like, keep my speed going on the turns. So I have enough boost to do what I want. And again, just keep the ball in. This should be an uh, aerial for us. There we go. I got to wait here because that's a soft hit towards the goalie. So that could be a really hard clear to our net. So can't really trust that. Here I'm going to take the shot. Turn into like a backboard pass, which is fine. Like, like you want to throw those high no matter what. Good save here by finger. That was a little unlucky. Oh, good. No, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Worked out though. Sorry, finger. All right, fingers going up with Boris. I'm gonna go up. Just make sure this deflects out. I just don't want that. Like, I'm not sure who's flying, who's not. So, like, if it's in front of your net, you know. Make sure it gets out of there. They won that ball, but I don't really have enough to do anything there. Just hop off. Grab some boost. Head back, because that was a good pass and play by them. Ooh, I thought we would have a goalie. And then I thought that was in for sure. Alright. That was fine. He lobbed it towards our net, but, you know, we just waited out. And, and blue team was waiting for our clear, so. Okay, we got the clear. Get the boost. And Juan's flying. Everyone missing. Try and get a nice high shot here. Just over Boris. And get the goal. So those are the ones like you definitely want to keep in air. Like I was just doing like goalie training. And trying to keep them high. Um, uh, with the aerials. And it's exactly why it's needed. Just barely get it over Boris. Nice free goal. Like that's the hardest thing. Or one of the harder things in Rock League. Is when you're going for the aerial. To keep the ball high. Because like usually like. At least for me. Like, I fly too high sometimes, and then I wind up hitting it down lower. So that's something I always try and improve on whenever I can. I just keep the ball in. I might have had a shot, like, if like if I spun at a little bit of a different time, but... Like, as long as you touch that. Like, you don't want to go too crazy. Oh, damn. I hit the scene a little sooner than I thought. Whew. At least I flew down and made up for it. Now we're putting some pressure on here. I'm actually going to push there because I thought the pass was going to be good. So why not? Here, just try and feed it towards the middle. Nice play by Boris. Just going up the wall. Like, that's the easiest way to save those. For sure. Now I got to reset because I have no boost anyway. Alright. I can come up. Try and throw it around this wall. Wanted it up the curve, but didn't get it. Alright, I'm going to push for a pass here. Maybe to myself. And back down. This could be a goal. Ooh, almost. Good defense. Good patience. I have no boost, but it looked kind of favorable, so I stayed. Let's grab their boost. I'm just trying to stay like in the offensive end a little bit more, just because um, we only have 30 seconds left at this point. So i got to be putting the pressure on a bit. See, someone should be behind me there. Maybe they were picking up boost. Okay, uh, that's generally how I play, at least, is you have, like, uh, Cross is just waiting for boost. Not sure what he's doing there. Shouldn't have thrown that on that. Actually should have passed that. The, uh, that just turned into a clear back for blue, so. Try and throw this high towards the net. Good save. Oh, good tip away. That was a good game. Close game, for sure. Uh oh demoted! Oh, no, I'm super champion now. Rip. Well, what can you do, guys? When no one's playing threes, you play champs, and then...
you lose, you lose. It happens. But GG's all around, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a little longer because the search took a long, a bit longer. But I hope you guys saw some good goalie keeping tips, tips. But uh, yeah, so on that one, guys, I am out. Later.